everybody, so it is vlog time and I'm doing a sit down vlog today in some awkward little corner in my bedroom because the lighting was weird on my bed where I was going to do this and my computer just messed up. I use my, sorry, I'm like out of breath for some reason. Um, I use my dad's laptop, like I've kind of adopted it as mine and um, yeah, I use that for my editing and everything. And so it's always up in my room, but lately it's been really acting up. I feel like it's going to die soon because it, um, like I'll be doing something, not even anything where it's taking a lot of like, I don't know what I'm, how I'm supposed to say this, but like, it's not like it's challenging for the computer. Like I was just watching a single video, not doing anything else. I didn't have any other pages up. And then this like gray screen comes up and it'll start making like the word stutter or it'll go like eh, 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 eh. and I'm just like you've got to be kidding me and it forces you to restart the computer and it's so irritating it's happened twice today and it's never done it twice in a row and it was pretty close in time so I'm a little worried about that because that computer cannot type <laughs> yeah that would not be good but I wanted to show you guys some things because I'm not gonna do another haul if you guys watch my other channel which I will definitely link down below I have been doing a ton of hauling and I'm a little ashamed of it but I mean whatever I'm gonna put this down a little bit it's like irritating me um but yeah so I got something in the mail today that I ordered online and it definitely doesn't go with like any beauty stuff but I also have two little other things to show you guys so I signed up for AP US history next year so a push and um, on the announcements the last week of school they said to like go down to a room to get something regarding next year and I went down there and we have like work to do over the summer so the first thing was that we had to get this book and it is called a Patriots history of the United States and it is from Columbus's great discovery to the war on terror and it's by Larry Schweikart and Michael Allen um yeah that's who those are the authors but okay look at this it's like 900 pages. Um, yay. <laughs> There's actually a lot of it that's notes. Like there are all these notes at the back. But the actual book part that I would have to read is um, 800, like basically 830 pages. It's doable, but you know, I don't want to be reading this. Now, history is my favorite subject at school, but I would not say that American history is my favorite. I definitely prefer European history because it goes back a lot further. But I mean, I am still interested in it, so I have to read this. And then we have like assignments. So I think we have two assignments and she's posting the other one on her website this week. So yeah, today is June 12th, just if you're wondering. Um, but yeah, so basically the first assignment that we have to do is read chapter one. My initial reaction to, oh, read chapter one. I was like, yes, it's going to be great. And then I saw the, like, the length of the book, and I was like 900 pages. So chapter one's probably going to be like a fourth of the book or something crazy. Thankfully, I was wrong. It's only 37 pages. And while the pages are, like, the words are really small, 37 pages that's completely doable like you can definitely do that and although these type of books seem very daunting and scary I had to read a book oh no I don't have it up there I had to read a book demon in the freezer for biology class and it was a scientific book all about smallpox and if you would have told me read a book about smallpox, the first thing I would have said is, that's disgusting, there's no way I'm going to be interested in it. But it was actually a very, very, very good book. Like, the writing style was really nice. And I think that this is going to be similar. I just feel like with books like this, you have to make it interesting or put some personal opinion or <clears throat> um, some humor into it somehow or else it's just too dry and nobody's gonna want to read that I mean let's just face it so yeah the first assignment gosh that was such a long-winded winded explanation of that but the first assignment 
is to read chapter one and then we have four little like response questions and I was like okay that's no big deal like it won't take me that long nope each response is four paragraphs and a paragraph she wrote is six to ten sentences so it's quite a bit of writing but it's not that bad at all it's basically opinion based fact and I know that makes no sense but I think what we're supposed to do is take little points that are in this book and then base an opinion off of that. I'm not really sure. I might talk about this more, like how I do it in another vlog later later on, but it's due, the first assignment's due July 16th, so I mean I have like a month to do it, and then the next assignment she's posting tomorrow, so yeah, I'm actually excited to read it. Is that sad? If you guys have read this, which I highly doubt you have, please tell me what you think about it. Yeah. And then we went to Target today and I am almost out of my proactive, what is it called? The moisturizer with the SPF and I need a day moisturizer. I mean, obviously I have to have one and I prefer one with SPF. So this, I, uh, we were at Target. Did I say that? I don't know. So I got the facial um, moisturizing lotion and this has SPF 15 and this is the up and up brand and this was like it says compared to Neutrogena oil free moisture SPF 15 lotion and <clears throat> the Neutrogena stuff was like over $10 this was about this was under eight so I was like okay and I took it out and I pumped some onto the back of my hand I actually really like that it has a pump like this um, but yeah, it says won't clog pores, hypoallergenic, fragrance free, and alcohol free. And yeah, it felt a lot like the proactive one. It's like thin, but I feel like it'll work because it smells a little bit more heavily of sunscreen than the other one does, but it sinks in really fast. And I was looking for something that was similar in texture because the proactive one does not break me out. And my skin is acting up. I mean, you're not really going to be able to see. So... I really need to make sure that I'm not going to break out. And then I have also been getting dry lately. And I get dry in the most weird, like, odd places. Like, around my mouth is, like, so flaky. It's disgusting. And I think when my skin gets bad or worse, um, I tend to get more dry. So I needed a thicker moisturizer and I picked up the Olay active hydrating cream and I was looking at all of the other like cream type products and they were they were less ounces than this and they were more this was only like seven dollars or something and I was like uh yeah obviously I'm gonna get that and it's actually a really nice jar it's not glass which I actually like but it's still you know nice and it's just the original and um has a little thing on there and I did kind of test it out a little bit it smells very powdery but the actual product is like a light baby pink I already have a moisturizer that I'm gonna use on my face I'm just gonna use this on really any dry spots because since it is thicker I'm afraid that if I were to use it on my whole entire face I would possibly break out so yeah I don't know how I made this so long but you know what I think you guys can handle it. So, yes, I'm not sure if this is going to go up before or after my beach trip. What was that? Beach? Beach trip. Um, yeah, because I think we'll have internet access there, so I might be uploading this when I'm there. Who knows? I'll make sure to tell you if I am in Myrtle Beach, because that's where we are going. And, yeah, I am so starving right now. I don't know what time it is. It's, oh, my watch right here. It is 3.40. Yeah. 3.39. Whatever. Um, but yeah, there is this like Chick-fil-A thing going on where if you buy like a little dessert, you get a free chicken sandwich. And if you guys watched my other vlog, I am obsessed with Chick-fil-A. But yeah, so we are getting that tonight and I am starving. And whenever I get like really, really hungry because I haven't eaten a lot of things today, I, um, you're not gonna be able to see it, but I get shaky, which is obviously not good. Like it's bad, but it gets like uncontrollable and then that's what I know I need to eat, so yes. Maybe I'll go have some fruit or something. Go have some pineapple, because I love pineapple. Oh, and we went to 
this cupcake place, this amazing cupcake place. And we got cupcakes, yay! That was really weird, but yeah, maybe pictures of the cupcakes at the end, even though this is so long. Hopefully, you guys are still watching. Maybe. I hope so. To see my lovely cupcakes. But yeah, I got a pina colada one. Yeah, good thing I said I wanted pineapple because that reminded me of that. Um, so yes, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will definitely put pictures of the cupcakes at the end of this video because I've never shown them before. I always say I'm going to do pictures and then something gets messed up, like the icing falls off or they get messed up somehow. Definitely pictures at the end. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a fabulous summer. I know that my summer is, well, it will be better. Yeah. Okay, Rachel, I think you need to stop. So yes, I will see you guys later. Like I said, I hope you're having a fabulous summer or day or winter if you live on the other side of the world. That's cool. Or if you live in the southern hemisphere. That's so weird to think about, but that's cool. So, yes. More vlogs. Then, well, if you would like more vlogs, then thumbs up this video. And do not forget to subscribe. And thank you to all of my new subscribers because I know that I have gained some over the past little while. And, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.